Okay. So Sharon, if for those of us that have elderly family members, what should we be looking out for? Yeah, it's a really good question. I hate to say one thing like, oh, if they have memory problems, you know, because everybody's a little different and everybody might have symptoms that could be part of normal aging too. So I think if we're seeing a pattern and we're seeing a pattern that's consistent and progressing, that might prompt attention to go seek out a health professional to look into this more. So for example, and it doesn't mean that you have to look for this thing, but if we are noticing memory problems, for example, and we say, hey, she told me that story, you know, my mom will tell me the same story over because she really wanted to. But if other family members, other friends are noticing, if it's getting worse and, and you before used to say, notice it once a week, but now it's because you only talk to each other once a week, but now it's every day, that consistency might prompt more attention so that we could potentially intervene and get it diagnosed and checked up. 